We'll go ahead and get the bearing out. Wipe it down real fast. And it's a little bit easier to see. Rotate the bearing cage. Look for anything that bounces up and down too much. This is a straight, almost you know, a continuous line. So I think the cage is pretty good on this one. So we we'll just keep cleaning it up until it spins freely. So I'm looking for little nicks, stuff like that. Sometimes you can see a little bit of wear, like it's like a dark band here and a light band here and dark band here. For the most part, that's kind of acceptable. It's not perfect, but in this case, I think we'll, it'll be fine. If it's really dark, then definitely you wanna change that to that part of the bearing. This actual roller got overheated. Um, but this one looks pretty darn good. Pack this side, we'll flip it over, then pack the other side. Do a good job with your light coating on the race itself. Actually, it doesn't take much. You don't have to pack a lot of it doesn't get really used. In a marine application like this, you want to go ahead and get the grease gun out and use, and since it has the special spindles, go ahead and fill the cavity that way. But for most land trailers, this is pretty much enough as it is. Grab a new bearing here, and just what you gotta do is work it inside of here. Just put it a little bit at a time. Keep going around. Spins maybe before you pop it in there. 